This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. With the engine completely cold, slowly turn the cap counterclockwise to relieve the pressure in the cooling system. A hissing sound will normally be heard. Wait until any pressure remaining in the system is released. Then continue to turn the cap until it can be removed. Where necessary, release the fasteners and remove the engine lower splash shield. Position a drain pan beneath the lower radiator hose connection. Then pull out the retaining clip and ease the hose from the radiator fitting. If the hose is stuck, it would be necessary to twist the hose to break the joint. Do not use excessive force or the radiator fitting could be damaged. Allow the coolant to drain into the container. Note that the radiator is equipped with a drain tap, but on some models this can only be accessed with the front bumper cover removed. Disconnect the hose from the thermostat housing cover. Then unscrew the thermostat housing retaining bolts. and remove the thermostat to drain the engine block. Allow the coolant to drain. If you're planning on flushing the coolant out of the engine block, delay installation of the thermostat until the engine has been flushed. Otherwise, reinstall the thermostat and housing using a new seal. Tighten the retaining bolts to the specified torque. Once all the coolant has drained, reconnect the hose to the radiator and ensure the retaining clip is properly seated. To flush the radiator, first disconnect the upper and lower hoses and any other relevant hoses from the radiator. Insert a garden hose into the radiator top fitting. Direct a flow of clean water through the radiator and continue flushing until clean water emerges from the radiator bottom fitting. After a reasonable period, the water still does not run clear the radiator can be flushed with a good proprietary cooling system cleaning agent. It is important that the manufacturer's instructions are followed carefully. If the contamination is bad, 
Insert the hose into the radiator bottom outlet and reverse flush the radiator. To flush the engine, ensure that the thermostat is removed. With the upper and lower hoses disconnected from the radiator, insert a garden hose into the upper radiator hose. Direct a clean flow of water through the engine and continue flushing until clean water emerges from the lower radiator hose. On completion of flushing, reinstall the thermostat using a new seal and tighten the housing mounting bolts to the specified torque. Reconnect the hoses and secure them with the hose clamps. Loosen the clamp and slide the heater core supply hose from its pipe until the bleed hole at the top of the hose is clear of the surface of the pipe. Do not disconnect the hose from the pipe completely. Remove the screws and detach the expansion tank. Raise it approximately 4 inches above the engine compartment and support it there on a block of wood or using the length of a wire. With the expansion tank cap removed, fill the system by slowly pouring the coolant into the expansion tank to prevent air locks from forming. Begin by pouring a couple of quarts of water followed by the correct quantity of antifreeze, then top up with more water. Continue filling until coolant starts to run from the bleed hole in the heater hose. When this happens, reinstall the hose and tighten the clamp securely. Once the level in the expansion tank starts to rise, squeeze the radiator upper and lower hoses to help expel any trapped air in the system. Once all the air is expelled, top up the coolant level to the max mark. Reinstall the expansion tank cap, then reinstall the expansion tank. Start the engine and run it at a fast idle for about 3 minutes. After this, allow the engine to idle normally until the lower hose becomes hot. Check for leaks, particularly around components that were disconnected. Check the coolant level in the expansion tank, adding if necessary. Note that the system must be cold before an accurate level is indicated in the expansion tank. Never remove the cap when the engine is still hot.